So, yet another school shooting has happened. Um, Today? No, no. Oh. Uh, in the past week. <laughs> okay. They're having about, the, the rate is about one a week. No, it's not. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk oh. about. Because I could sit here and rant about how, um, you know, the religious right and, and con ultra conservatives in the gun lobby uh, just don't seem to want to care uh, to do anything. What we first hear every time is thoughts and prayers and, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers and a $20 bill will get me a lap dance. Uh, <laughs> thoughts and prayers do nothing. There's no demonstration of effectiveness. And I understand from somebody who genuinely thinks that they care when something like this happens, they offer up their thoughts and prayers. Oh, we're, we're praying for the victims and the families of the victims. You can give your thoughts and prayers as long as you also do something. If you don't do anything other than offer thoughts and prayers, shut the fuck up because you are not helping. I understand how frustrating it must feel to, to think that there's nothing you can do. But offering up thoughts and prayers has been proven ineffective because it's offered up every single time we have something like this and it doesn't change. Now, after having beat up on the thoughts and prayers cloud, crowd, uh, let me beat up on the other crowd. <laughs> okay. The crowd of people who are exaggerating statistics and engaging in hyperbole. I don't know how many times in the past week I saw that, that this was the 17th or 18th school shooting in 2018. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even close. You can go to Snopes and find out that depending on what statistics you actually use, there were somewhere between five or seven and really only two that fit the public perception of, oh my gosh, there was another school shooting where somebody went in and shot a bunch of people. If you take a look at the, the list of their 17 or eight, 18 in 2018, whatever it was, um, you've got you know somebody uh, unrelated to the school after hours who fired a gun on school property because that's what they're counting. And this, you know, or in some other uh, a basketball game dispute, somebody f fired a gun. Uh, those things are bad and they're different. And there's no good reason to exaggerate because one is too many. And that's the point that you have to make and that's the point that you have to drive home. There's no good reason to exaggerate because I'll tell you exactly what happens when we misrepresent the facts. You get some jackass like Ben Shapiro putting out a video talking about how the reactionary left is exaggerating the problem and it's really not as bad as anybody thinks and that gives people a reason to continue doing absolutely nothing about it. So make good arguments and use good statistics because it should be easy to say this should not happen. And not only does it not happen with the frequency in other countries that it does here, it doesn't happen at all in some of them. We can have reasonable discussions about how we're gonna deal with guns and bullets and all these other stuff, but if one side is pretending that it doesn't happen and then offering up thoughts and prayers and posting their T-shirt of uh, the student asking God why he didn't stop the shooting and God replying that he's not allowed in schools, uh, which, by the way, oh, that's, that's a flat way. admission from them that their God isn't everywhere and can be overpowered by legislation, except that that didn't happen either because there's no legislation banning a God from a school or banning prayer from a school. It's a complete and utter misrepresentation. But they want to throw out thoughts and prayers and their t-shirts and then nothing gets done and we come back to this over and over again. And the people on the other side are like, oh my gosh, this is the biggest problem ever and the world is just getting worse and it's going to hell in a handbasket. No, it's not. The prevalence for the, 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 the rate for these things is actually, actually declining. We live in the best of all possible times. Read Stephen Pinker's book, Better Angels or Nature, or mo even better, go read his recent Wall Street Journal ar article that offers statistics showing that the world has, has improved in almost every measure for almost every person on the planet. And that puts perspective on it, not so that we can pretend there's no problem, but so that we can accurately assess what the problem is, measure the risks and rewards, and we figure out the best course of action to try to prevent this from happening. And I'm not gonna claim that I know what it is and I'm not interested in getting in, into a debate about it you know, in the course of this particular show. I want people to argue honestly. I hate bad arguments and I hate them most when they're coming from the side that should be right <laughs> and easily right. One is too many. That's all you need to say. On that note, amen.